Hello folks. Right, I'm out walking the woods again. And uh, as always, I've got my eye out for potential locations for uh, off-grid messaging nodes. Local woods, near a road, so uh, I'm not going to pretend I'm in the middle of nowhere. So uh, yeah, subject of uh, today's video, once again, is off-grid messaging. Now, um, I think it's actually quite an important thing. It's not been popular as far as views concerned on my channel, but uh, I do actually think that it could be an extra sort of string to uh, our bows, so to speak, in the event of emergency comms being required, SHTF, whatever. And uh, yeah, okay, it can easily be jammed, but uh, yeah, it's just another option. And it's so easy to deploy and uh, it's cheap and it's a fair bit of fun getting set up too. So uh, stick with it, but spoiler alert, I'm getting into mesh core as well as mesh tastic. So uh, I'll give you my views and an update on that. Okay, so yeah, getting into mesh core. So uh, I do like mesh tastic, don't get me wrong, but um, I should be doing both, at least for the time being. But the main use case for me is messaging. And mesh tastic, certainly in this area, and I think a other couple of areas as well in the UK, it's becoming something of a mess. It's a bit like Channel 19 in the uh, boom time of the early 80s. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of routers being rolled out that really shouldn't be routers. It's a very specific role in Meshtastic. And uh, I'm seeing routers crop up. There's even some you run in router client, which is a deprecated mode. Old firmware, I'm seeing a lot. Uh, seeing people setting their hot limits to seven to sort of overcome the inefficiency. And the only messages I seem to get are um, coming up through the routers from uh, about 100 miles away. So, um, yeah, local stuff, it's, it's not looking good. It's something of a node spotting hobby, which is fair enough. It's good. I can see nodes appearing as far down as Guernsey and uh, maybe uh, north of France and things on occasion. And indeed, when I was down at Portland a couple of weeks ago, I managed to get a message up from south coast up through to the uh, the home node up in North Somerset, but it's not really what I want it for. I want it for localised uh, messaging. And um, yeah, a bit of a mess at the moment. So I would say, have a look at what mode, what role you're running. Have a look at things like um, router late, perhaps. Investigate, read up on it properly and uh, learn and all the rest of it. Otherwise, probably it'll go the same way as it did about a year ago, but really popular and the whole thing just collapsed down to nothing. So a load of people quit etc etc but uh yeah it's certainly enjoyable to see these nodes all over the place i think i see sometimes a couple of hundred nodes from here in north somerset which uh looks good but uh i don't think certainly on long fast it's not going to be working too well as far as actual messaging is concerned now, ages ago they did look at uh, or did do a quick trial of medium fast but um unfortunately co community cohesion uh, wasn't great, and uh, people soon started saying, oh, it's in anybody anymore. Didn't really give it enough time. Didn't improve their stations to, to take advantage of the higher speeds. And they were trying long, slow, and it ended up a mess. And that's when it all sort of uh, went uh, tits up, really, for uh, this area, certainly. So, uh, yeah, I can uh, certainly see the uh, enjoyment in seeing nodes all over the shop. But uh, I think, really, if I was rolling something out, with a few other guys locally ish i'd be looking at medium slow speed medium fast and uh keeping it a smaller tighter mesh and um yeah watch out for those uh router modes and things like that i've got a node here it's been up for about a year i guess and that's never needed to be anything other than client and that does a fantastic job of linking up a couple of towns on the other side of the bristol channel there southeast wells so uh yeah do please look closely at what you're uh, you're running anyway that aside i have um set up a, a repeater and a repeaters are actually encouraged in mesh core I've set up a repeater that's uh, successfully leaked into uh, another one i've got some uh, chat going with a few guys it's not a big thing then here in the southwest but there's a few guys on there and i'm actually getting more messages through on mesh core with about five different uh, uh, other operators than i am on Meshtastic with, as I say, 100, 150, sometimes 200 nodes on the list. So that's good. 
and uh, I quite like it. I was up and running in no time, and uh, yeah, I've got my node, I've got my repeater. I've just ordered another cut the board so I can get some stuff going when I uh, go off uh, camping and walk in and all the rest of it. So uh, yeah, you can certainly see that both systems have their advantages and disadvantages. So I will run the both in tandem for the time being. Anyway, so uh, the way it's looking is uh, Bristol's got some stuff going on. Um, South East Wales has got some stuff going on. That's um, hooking up with me in uh, North Somerset. So if we could get some more high ground stuff or coastal stuff over in South East Wales, that would be absolutely fantastic. And then that could bring in Western Supermare if you'd get something decent running in Western Supermare and then linking with uh, something on, uh, say, the, uh, the sort of coast near Cardiff or something like that. And I think that'll make a nice little tight mesh core mesh for this uh, local region. So if you're in one of those areas, then do please give the mesh core thing a go. It's uh, really easy to set up and uh, I'm enjoying it so far. So uh, I'll show you what uh, the sort of setup is when I get back and uh, we'll take it from there, guys. Okay, as you can uh, plainly see, I'm back at base. So uh, here's the old homepage. Channel page for UK CBTV. Been going since 2010, so uh, take pity on me, guys, and hit the old subscribe button. It's nice to see the numbers going up, even though I'm not monetized. Anyway, so uh, what I've got here are two old tablets. I think they're Amazon Fire tablets I got off of eBay, really cheap. And uh, yeah, I've basically got uh, one for MeshCore and one for Meshtastic. So the Meshcore one first, as you can see, there's some stuff appearing on the uh, map there that's looking uh, pretty nicely spread. There's a repeater appeared up there towards Pontypool, one appeared down towards Newport, that seems to be uh, sort of in and out a little bit at the moment. Perhaps they're just testing it. We've got a couple of uh, nodes over there, a couple of nodes down my way, which is me, and uh, some over a Bristol way and uh, what they call a room server over there as well. So uh, yeah, as you can see, if we can get some uh, nodes either side, zigzag some uh, comms across, then uh, we can start getting uh, Bristol and Cardiff and all that, Western Supermare, LinkedIn, sweet ass. Anyway, over to uh, Meshtastic, as you can see, that's pretty massive from here. Uh, stuff all the way down from Cornwall, Exeter, all the way over into Hampshire, all the way, massive density there, up into Worcester, and somewhere else up Birmingham way there. And um, yeah, I only cleared that uh, last night. So that's what's appeared today. We're not talking anything coming in over the internet. I always see that much, to be honest, from here. And it's, uh, I think it's a little bit overloaded, like I say. Not much coming through on messaging on that at all. But even with this little bit of a setup, I'm getting quite a few messages come through from the other ops uh, in reach. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm liking both. I like both systems, basically. I'm not going to ditch uh, one or the other, really. So uh, I'm just going to uh, keep going with the old off-grid messaging thing. And, uh, yeah, happy days. Now, uh, this one links in with my node that's set up um, in the... Uh, it's basically in the kitchen window, but the kitchen window does have an uninterrupted view of about 20 miles of the South Wales coast across the Bristol Channel. So uh, it might not be the best of installs, but it's in a great position. That's just a client node. There's nothing router or repeater about it. Just client, straightforward client. That's linked in with Wi-Fi because Bluetooth won't reach in here through... Uh, the dense brick walls that we have here. Now, uh, I don't think you can link the repeater in with Wi-Fi on MeshCore. Basically, I've got a repeater in almost the same location. They're spread enough apart not to interfere with themselves, but uh, the model that you have with MeshCore is much more of a, a repeater client thing. And I've got a repeater up in that kitchen window. Now that's, um, just standalone, it's just doing its thing. And what I've got here is this tablet is linked via Bluetooth with, let me turn the light on, otherwise you won't see it. There's just a Helltech V3 there. So uh, 
tablet's communicating with that over Bluetooth. And then from there, it repeats out through my repeater. And that's linked up, obviously, via LoRa. And it's working pretty well. Anyway, so uh, let's dim the lights if I can find the right button. And get back to the screens. So, yeah, as you can see, it's sort of linking up pretty sweet now. So, if we can get something going Western Super Mare, Cardiff, I struggle to hit Cardiff from here. It's, uh, I can if the tide is in sometimes and it's weather dependent, but it's not great. So, if we could get something went in the Super Mare way. You're starting talking a bit of a zigzag of uh, repeaters and nodes, and you can really get into a scene where we're linking up Cardiff, Western Supermare, Newport, round um, Avonmouth, Bristol, sort of way, and up through into uh, Chepstow, Caldicott way as well. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're after. We can get a nice little mesh go in there, and that'll be sweet as. So, uh, if you can do anything to help, it would be most appreciated. Anyway, catch you all soon, guys. 104 checking out.